I have never seen up. Bro, this guy hasn't seen Bro, up. Hasn't How have seen you not seen up? up? It's like one of the best movies of all time. And for some reason, everyone thinks that's a problem. It's just a movie about a house. There's no way it's one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> Dude, it's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> And how is it raining indoors? <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. A few days ago, I was having a very important conversation with my friend. One thing led to another, and I ended up releasing info that I don't want out there. Oh no, why is he calling me? He continued to ask me about questions regarding my childhood until he got to one, and I gave the worst answer possible. There's a difference? Okay, so these are DreamWorks movies, and these are Pixar movies. How could I forget? Ratatouille was my favorite movie growing up. Good choice, mine was either Wally or Up. Oh yeah, Wally was really good. Oh, what now? <clears throat> Bless you. Dude, what about Up? I haven't seen it. It didn't interest me, it's just a movie about a house, right? It's better than Ratatouille though. Okay, I guess I'm watching Up today because there's no way in hell this is better than Ratatouille. Honestly, the opening to Ratatouille is basically perfect, so I doubt Up can stand up to it. Okay, it stood up to it. I actually cried. What the fuck am I getting into? I'm gonna be honest, I think I've only cried twice in my life watching something. The first being Iron Man's death, and the second one being Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But both of those times were because of the buildup of the storyline. Nothing has made me emotional in the beginning. But I can't judge the entire movie based off the intro, I doubt the rest is this good. But is it better than Ratatouille? Not yet. Good afternoon. Okay, here's the kid. Honestly, I have seen this kid before. I thought he was the main character, not Carl but I guess this makes sense. Wait, he's a boy scout or whatever the fuck? I was also a scout, so I think I'm gonna relate to Russell very well. Even just seeing him walking up to doors and trying to sell him shit gives me flashbacks because when I was in boy scouts, we had to go up to random doors and try to sell people popcorn. The girl scouts get to sell cookies. You know, that's easy to sell, but we have to sell fucking popcorn. Okay, I'm gonna try to predict the ending right here. Russell dies and not in like some fiery explosion, but like I think he's gonna sacrifice himself and save the house. On a more serious note, I can already see why this movie is so beloved. It's got a great concept with characters you get attached to within minutes, as well as just how good it looks. I almost forgot this was made in 2009 because the animation just looks amazing. Animation nowadays is praised whenever it's flashy or has insane action sequences or moments that are just hype. Like just look at this, it's crazy to think that a team of humans drew this. for a weekly anime. But I also like it when animation just looks real. No flashy lights and no crazy effects, just beautiful animation. And it's crazy to me that Up along with other Pixar movies could honestly pass as a movie made today. But let's get back to the movie. After all, we left off at the beginning of an iconic scene. I feel bad for Carl, man. It's like the world's out to get him. Why does bro look like the skull emoji? Oh, this is where the balloons come in and he flies away. Okay, this makes sense now. See, at first I didn't understand why there would be a flying house, but now this all makes sense. Wow. Man, I really regret not growing up with up. As I was growing up, oh, that's a lot of ups. All of my friends and really all of Gen Z loved talking about this movie and how it brought them on this emotional roller coaster. And that was just something I didn't get to experience growing up. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad that I waited because now that I'm watching it as an adult, I feel like I can understand the theme a lot more and it's hitting harder when you're a kid you don't really care about themes you just care about the story and if it's entertaining but the great thing is up seems to have both I hate to disappoint you, but I couldn't finish the movie. It was just so bad. I'm kidding. It was great. I'm not gonna show my reaction to the entire movie because I feel like that would get pretty boring, but rather than just give a review, I thought I'd call my friend and share my thoughts. Yes. I finished the movie. And? And I made a PowerPoint. I'll share my screen. Bruh, a PowerPoint. So as you know, I recently saw up. <laughs> 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 so the premise. In all honesty, I wasn't ready for Up. I did not know going in that the first 15 minutes would be the saddest thing I have ever seen. From start to finish, this movie is an emotional roller coaster. It has funny, playful moments as well as very emotional and sad moments. While it's obviously geared towards children, it has some very serious themes. The movie is only an hour and a half and it hits hard. <clears throat> Did you guys know that 100% of my- no, I'm just kidding. Just- just subscribe. It helps a lot. 
characters. Okay, dude, the characters are really good. Carl, I got attached to instantly, and the same with Russell. Doug and Kevin, yeah, they're not gonna be super fleshed out characters, but I thought they were great side characters, and they weren't thrown in randomly. They actually added to the story. The only thing that I think could have been a little better was the villain. I think his name was Charles. I really didn't feel like he had much buildup, but the movie's an hour and a half. There's so much you can do. I get it. Okay, about the best moments, I have some bad news. The best moment was the opening scene, so it kind of peaked. I still enjoyed the movie throughout, but the opening scene was just amazing. I knew after that that the whole movie was not going to live up to it, and I was kind of right, except for the ending. The ending itself was amazing. So the beginning and the ending were really good, but I felt like once they landed at Paradise Falls and they started going on the journey, that's when it got a little bit less good. And that brings us to, is it better than Ratatouille? <laughs> It's a hard decision. I grew up with Ratatouille. Ratatouille is my childhood movie. I'm so attached to Ratatouille. I'm not attached to Up. So I don't know whether to judge this if like I saw Up as a kid or what I think now. So what's your decision? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Rat Up. I can't decide, man. I need to see more Pixar movies. I haven't even seen Toy Story. You haven't seen Toy Story? Or The Lion King. What? Click whatever fucking video is showing on your screen now because according to the YouTube algorithm, that's what you want to see next.